Welcome back. We've got a brand new episode of Buffy, episode number 12. It's called A New Man. That could be Spike, it could be Giles, it could be any three of them, right? It could be Riley, because Riley now knows about Buffy and Buffy kissed him. Spike obviously has joined the gang, <laughs> which is really weird. I'm still finding that weird, but that's what he's done, it seems like. And Giles is getting it on with um, the lady who he recently told that demons were real and stuff, right? which I thought she already knew, but I guess not. But anyway, yeah, um, not a lot else to say, I don't think. So let's get to it. Buffy and Riley. Willa said she was going to be at the science library all night. Is that right? Believable. <laughs> I think she probably will be. Nope, maybe not. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> we got trouble. What is it? I was in the rec room. It, it came through the window. Vampire? Vampires don't breathe fire. Breathes fire? The dragon? That's one thing we haven't had yet. The dragon. Oh, it's a surprise party. <laughs> He's coming with his crossbow. <laughs> Guess you won't be killing anything tonight after all. Mm. Don't be I won't so be so sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. I didn't see what the sign said. It's his birthday, obviously, I imagine. So what age would that be now? 18? 19? 18, I think. It's a big one. More so here because you can drink when you're 18 here in the UK. I think most states it's 21, right? In the US. Why is it called New Man if it's Buffy's birthday? I'm bored. Let's eat. Anya, we've talked about this. I'm sorry. That was rude. You're learning etiquette. Um, this is... Riley Finn, my boyfriend. Very nice to meet you. Seems weird that they haven't met yet, but yeah, they haven't, have they? I've seen the library. It's gone downhill since you left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm embarrassed to say that I, uh, I actually miss it at times. You you're retired? I'm sorry? Or you're working somewhere else now? Mm, it's safe. Giles has no cake. Oh, here, here, I'll get you a piece. Uh, Bless Buffy. You had to save Giles, right? He's just nervous. Saying he was jobless. But this is so nice. Or to save Riley from embarrassing himself. Professor Walsh says adrenaline is like exercise, but without the exorbitant gym fees. Very witty. You should meet her. She's absolutely the smartest person I've ever met. Perhaps we should have invited Professor Walsh to the party. Oh, no. I mean, she's like 40. She's got better things to do than hang out with a bunch of kids. Here you go, sir. <laughs> Bless Charles. So what kind of place are you looking for? He's moving out. Maybe a crypt, someplace crypt. You know, dark and dank, <laughs> but not as dark and dank as this. <laughs> it's pretty depressing, isn't it? <laughs> I've known corpses with a fresher smell. In fact, I've been one. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Let's go. The Slayer. Yeah, that's me. We thought you were a myth. He went straight to her and told her, did he? I always knew you could do better than a B minus. Now I understand your energies were directed to the same place as ours. In fact, I think. She's going to try and the recruit her. Scientific technology and state of the art weaponry. To do what? And you, if I understand. We're going to find out. Poke them with a sharp stick. But yeah, get rid more of them. effective than it sounds. Been here alone, has killed or captured. How many is it? 17. What about you? Hmm. 1700. <laughs> how many hostiles would you say you've slain? Lost count. Oh no, what's with this music? What's he found? Oh crap. Mm, There's a special calendar day. Demon Prince Barvain is gonna rise tonight. I just assumed that was a big week for you. Turns out I suddenly find myself regular week. Needing to know the plural of apocalypse. <laughs> could be grateful, Riley. Don't get me wrong, the girls I grew up with could hold their own. Well, I'm not even sure I could take you. <laughs> You're not even sure. <laughs> He definitely couldn't take her, Riley. Your whole crew couldn't. Can I help you with something, Mr. Giles? Why has Giles come here? Rupert. He's going to tell her about this. I'm looking for Buffy Summers. Oh, he's just looking I'm for Buffy. A, a friend of hers. Mm. I feel like he wants to suss her out. If you lead a child by the hand, then they'll never find their own footing. And if it's true about hiking, ergo it must be true about life. Giles just met his match here. <laughs> Very independent. Exactly. Which is not always a good thing. I think it can be unhealthy to take on adult roles too early. What I suspect I'm seeing is a reaction to the absence of 19. a male role model. Absence? Buffy clearly lacks a strong father figure. <laughs> oh, 
I'll tell Buffy her friend was looking for her. Oh. I'll just have to take care of it myself. Thank you a few demons in my day without her. Does this ever go well? Your better demons will clean up after themselves. Should be ruptured earth and, and, and broken stone. It hasn't oh. risen. Apparently it hasn't happened yet. A bit of luck. I, I bet the initiative took care of it. What? Uh, they read hot spots, areas of otherworldly energy. What are you talking about? What, what, what's, what's the initiative? What, um, what on earth does it have, have to do with Buffy's new boyfriend? You know. Buffy's dating one of them? Who <laughs> else knows? No one. No one else knows this. Anya, and that's it. And Spike. <laughs> Spike? Oh dear. Spike knew? Only the basic stuff. Professor Walsh is in charge. Quite Professor knew before Walsh. anyone. That fishwife? Fishwife. <laughs> Charles is feeling replaced, isn't he? Forget it. If I need to clear up, I'll stay a little longer just in case. He's been like superseded by the more modern new slayers, I guess, kind of. I feel like he's going to... His old school ways are going to do something, they're going to work and they're going to fail somehow. Thus proving that he's still needed. Oh, he has risen. Oh, oh no. It's... I wouldn't say that at all. Something rather interesting was about to happen. Um... Someone... Oh, bug, I thought you'd gone. <laughs> oh my God, what's his name? His Ethan friend, Ryan. Ethan. God. You have no idea how much thrashing you is going to improve my day. <laughs> thrashing you. Wes, he said that in a buff recent um, Angel episode. Now, isn't this more fun than kicking my ass? No. <laughs> no. Oh, we used to be friends, Ripper. When did all that fall apart? At the same time you when started you... to worship chaos. Yeah. Oh, something's harming demons. And it's not the Slayer. You know anything about it? Initiative, right? What are they saying? Pain as bright as steel. Things like that. They're scared. I'm scared. Something called 314 has got him scared most of all. The kind of scared that turns to angry. I know we're not particularly fond of each other, <laughs> Rupert. It's blundering into places it doesn't belong. It's throwing the worlds out of balance. And that's way beyond chaos, mate. Out of balance? We're what? headed quite literally for one hell of a fight. We want the demons gone, don't we? Well, Ethan probably doesn't, but what kind of balance do the demons... I suppose a form of Darwinism, I guess. Are you holding back? Are you? Maybe a little. <laughs> Do you fancy her? Oh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe a little too. I mean, he can fight, obviously, but come on. Buffy would kill him. I'll go all out if you will. Are you sure? No, Riley. Here we <laughs> you go. You're going to regret this, mate. <laughs> Riley! <laughs> Beats him up and then suddenly concerned. Are you hurt? <laughs> A little bit. No. I didn't mean Carried to. Away. It's fine. I'm good. <laughs> That's probably about five percent of it as well, Riley. We won't be asking that again. Twenty years I've been fighting demons. Why you walked and had a Nancy Ninja Boys come in? <laughs> Nancy <laughs> Ninja Boys. <laughs> demons are pissing themselves with fear. I never even noticed me. <laughs> oh. It was Maggie Walsh. Oh, this is awful. <laughs> she said I was an absent male role model. Have some my ass. But I'm twice the man she is. I'm twice the man she is, did he say? <laughs> what am I? I'm an unemployed librarian with a tendency to get knocked on the head and then... Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore, mate. When you went to the loo, I slipped a small pellet of poison in your drink. You'll be dead in an hour. Oh, shit. Oh, he was... acting a bit Just more than drunk. Oh. Is he? <laughs> he is just plastered then. The night is still our time. Time of magic. I thought we'd see her again. Willow? Yeah. Start out slow doing what? Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're gonna float the rose, yeah. then use the magics to pluck the petals off. Oh, it's gone wrong. <laughs> petals are gone, but what the heck was that? they didn't exactly pluck them off I one by know, one. But, uh, petals are off. <laughs> they do that? Not stuff, right? Take a bit of work, I think. <laughs> oh, 
Ethan, what have you done to Giles? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, he's got some strength as well. Bye, Miss Harris. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Why though? Ethan. <laughs> Just to create more chaos. You got a goal in mind here. So it wasn't poison, it was some sort of transformation drug. <laughs> oh, and I like that shirt. <laughs> I felt this presence, this dark magic's energy, blocking the spell. Yeah. It's new. That Ethan as well. I'm spending today with Riley. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what you always do on the days when the earth rotates. <laughs> it's just going so well right now. I sort of kicked him across the room last night. <laughs> um, sort guess of. Good. We were sparring and he said not to hold back. He's a little okay, literally. <laughs> but he, he said he was okay with it. And I, I think he's okay with it. Do, do you think he's okay with it? I'm sure he is. I mean, if he's not, you know, you had to do it. I mean, he's right. You can't like walk he's... around pretending you're less than you are. His pride's going to have taken a bit of a hit, right? Right. What? I held back a little. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> He'd be dead if she hadn't. I don't like it. 10.30 in the morning. What's his Sander? <laughs> Still asleep. Sander. <laughs> He's got a shit Sander, himself. Sander, wake up. <laughs> Mom. No, it's not, Mom. When you look at me, you may be a little uh, alarmed, but there's no need. It's it's me, Giles. <laughs> Giles sounds older, is it? Just because he looks like that. I don't know. Help. Sounds like an old man. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Hello. It's me. <laughs> oh, he's hearing a different voice. Listen, don't you understand me? Oh, a different language. Demon! Oh. Demon! <laughs> Please, don't you understand? Oh, no. Don't tell me Buffy's gonna attack him. <laughs> How's he gonna prove it? Oh. <laughs> Oh no, Giles. Poor Daylight. The initiative are going to capture him, aren't they? Oh, I bet. Bloody humans. Bloody humans. <laughs> oh, what a situation to be in. I feel like he's going to get captured. In tough years. Oh, and it might have a saucepan-shaped bruise. Giles will know what it was like. <laughs> saucepan-shaped bruise. Okay. Giles? They're probably going to think that Giles has taken Giles. I think it ate him up. <laughs> it ate him up? Oh no. Dolls, you better hide and wait this out. See if it reverses. What do I spy with my little <laughs> Spike. <laughs> oh, Spike can fight demons now as well. Oh no. Demon. The things I can kill. Spike. Wonderful. The perfect end to a perfect day. <laughs> Gile? Go on then. Oh, Let's get on oh he the can fight. understand him because he's a demon. You understand me? Okay. Of course I understand you. I'm speaking English. No, you're speaking Fioral. I happen to speak Fioral. And by the way, why the hell are you suddenly a Fioral demon? <laughs> you just come over all demony this morning? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did. Yeah, you did. to Ethan Rain. You have to help me find him. He knows Ethan Rain, he doesn't, doesn't he? Undo Spike. So think he so. Needs a good to being killed. <laughs> and I'm supposed to just help you out of the evilness of my No, that was heart. Trick who knew him. You help me and I, I don't kill you. Oh, tremendously convincing. Try it again without the stutter. <laughs> the shoe's on the other foot now. A hundred dollars? A hundred dollars. You'll have to do a lot <laughs> better than The spike that. come on me. Two hundred. <laughs> right? Two hundred. <laughs> that was a hell of a negotiation spike. When I find Ethan, I can clear all this up without Buffy ever having to find out that anything happened to me at all. Buffy could stumble across him and try and kill him. There were 911 calls from a couple different places. Neighbors just heard, you know, growling, things breaking. He'd find himself in a second. Nobody is cooler in a crisis. If you can't find <laughs> third gear, don't try for third gear. <laughs> Best, I don't know if I'm driving this thing or wearing it. It's perfectly <laughs> serviceable. What was that? Did you growl? No. <laughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Special powers? I'm setting things on fire with my sizzling eye beams? Well, you got the mucus thing. What? Oh. Mucus? Paralyzing mucus. Shoots out through the nose. Sets up fast. Hard as rock. Pretty good in a fight. Uh -huh. Are you making this up? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, but he's hey, trolling him. Sneeze coming on. You warned me. 
sort of mindless need to destroy oh. this anger. It's mind changing. Good oh. times. Go with it. Good times. No. <laughs> it's fun. I can't do it. Do it for me. <laughs> Don't let yourself go. I refuse to become a monster. <laughs> a conscience. I am a human being. But for how long is he progressing slowly into a, like the mentality of a demon? <laughs> Oh god, he's doing this just to scare her, right? <laughs> right, let's go then. <laughs> sort of a, a foot soldier type. Works for other demons telling the truth, then. times. Very strong. Ugh. Mucus. Hey, mucus. It do. He does. <laughs> he was telling him the truth. <laughs> How do I kill it? Silver, a weapon made of silver. The demon attacked Professor Walsh out of a small gray car oh well, no the initiative are going to be looking for him now why would a demon steal a car now work this out so will this the spells that are going wrong could they be caused by someone using magics to control a demon making this fiaral demon attack giles not quite I thought she was onto it for a second will Xander stay here oh, I they're, they're gonna figure it out they call and ask for a ransom give them anything they want i'm really worried for giles giles should have done that with miss harris because the initiative will be after him now as well he didn't think that through one of them gave you his number <laughs> I threw it out. I mean, I took one look and saw he was staying at that rat trap. Ethan Rain. Who's that? Professional bad guy. He's got to be the guy that made the demon attack Giles. I need a search. Local hotel registrations matching the name Ethan Rain. You can do that? Yeah, Buffy's going to start to feel like Giles, that she's been superseded by the technology. She said when we located the demon, I... I'm not supposed to bring you along. Oh. Oh? Uh, what are you doing? This is a military operation now. Well, they are part of the military. This demon did something to Giles. Well, I'm going to kill him. Did he just mean a military operation in the way that everything like this is a military operation? Yeah, I wondered whether they were part of the government. Why didn't she want Buffy to go with him? We'll speed up. Lose them. I've got it flawed. Damn! <laughs> oh, sure. Dismantle the getaway car. That was <laughs> scary. Slow down. I'll jump out. They'll follow you. Hold on. These commandos are the same guys that are after me too. Maybe I want you around to split their attention at me. I'll pay you another hundred dollars. Yes, <laughs> he'll take it. Spike will just chuck Giles into the, into them, won't he? Like he did with the other vampire. He's a backstabber. <laughs> Giles? I can't undo you if you kill me. <laughs> it killed Ripper and now it's trying to get me. Don't let him go. Oh my god. So Ethan what did you do to him? doesn't care if Giles dies. Like, I know they don't get on, but... They are old friends. You just try and stop me, you stupid jargon. Why did you do that? What happened there? Oh, no. Ethan, you absolute bastard. Just tell them. Too late, mate. Your plan, whatever it was, is over. Just tell them who it is. You must want him dead. Oh, no. Is Giles getting ang the demon angry? No. This is for Giles. For me? No! <laughs> Oh God, Giles! Oh no! Oh God! Oh Giles. shit! Giles, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Please don't die. Actually, I feel quite well, except for the rage. <laughs> I think he's okay. Did it not penetrate his skin or something? Is this thing real silver? Oh, it's not real. Oh, it's not real. Oh, I thought she'd done him then for a second. My God, can you imagine? How did you know it was me? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Your eyes. Oh. You're the only person in the world that can look that annoyed with me. <laughs> I'd rather like to be going. I bet and you would. Why would I let you go? Yeah, well, just maybe because you finish this guy no once and for all. I'm human. You can't kill me. By the authority of the U.S. military, you are being taken into custody. Oh, they're gonna arrest him. Take hmm? him here. All right. So the U.S. Mil military. Okay. So they are coming. They'll uh, take Mr. Rain to a secret detention facility in the Nevada desert. <laughs> I'm sure. He'll be rehabilitated in no time. <laughs> You're gonna torture him. Go and watch them manhandle him into a vehicle. <laughs> You're really strong, like Spider Man strong. <laughs> Spider Man strong. <laughs> You're like, make the plan, execute the plan. I'm the Slayer. I like it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That could have gone either way. But give me another old week to get ready. And I'll take you down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you gotta let that go, Riley. Ingenious speaking tube. 
I'm very excited. I am sorry, Giles. I really thought I told you about Riley and the initiative. Oh. Um, Ethan's not exactly a, a reliable source, but um, I'm not sure that he's wrong about them. He's part of something that we, we don't really understand. Are you sure you're not just saying this because you don't like Riley's boss? No, no, I'm not saying that at all. Though I do hate her <laughs> a lot. <laughs> make sure you know what you're getting into. You won't be disappointed in her. She's good at what she does. Mm. She is the truest soul I've ever known. No. Oh. <laughs> Spontaneous poetic exclamations. Lord, spare me college boys in love. I'm just saying she'll work out. You'll be proud of her. You want to know what I think? I think you're probably right. We're going to see something here. Coming towards the end. She's hiding. 314. Wait. Someone said 314 in this episode. Who said that? Uh, Ethan, right? Ethan says something about I didn't quite catch what he said. He said something about 314. I might actually look at that. Hang on, give me a second. Yeah, so I just checked it again. And yeah, Ethan said 314, they're particularly angry about 314 or 314's doing something to them that's making them particularly angry. And then he said about the um, throwing the world out of balance, right? Oh, Jesus, what are they doing in there? I feel like they're torturing them, I guess. It's got to be more than that, though. Surely that's pretty simple, but... I guess that would be quite shocking though because you know if it is a government organization although it did seem like maybe Ethan was going to be taken to the desert to be tortured <laughs> the way they sort of phrase that yeah I mean we know that kind of thing does actually go on or did in the past at least probably still does probably by most governments actually and we just don't hear about it so maybe it's some sort of demon Guantanamo or something could be right like why would they maybe they're trying to get information from them and therefore they torture them for that reason but what information and ev like there's all different types of demons aren't there and vampires so yeah if it's not torture i don't know what it is but yeah either way sounds like it's bad and ethan doesn't agree with it mind you ethan you can't trust what ethan says but we didn't really find out what he was trying to do right with giles so yeah i'm confused why did ethan want to turn him into a demon i might actually look at that again now at the end to see if he said anything about why he did it with the background like dramatics going on the noise it's hard to hear sometimes, but let me just see. So Spike's crashed Giles' car. Does that mean he's been recaptured? I don't know. It seems like probably he has, but it didn't show that. Okay. And so, yeah, it didn't turn out that Ethan had a reason to do that other than to cause more chaos and potentially get Giles killed. I didn't know it was like that with Ethan. I mean, yeah, the chaos thing makes sense because that's what he does, right? Yeah. So why was he trying to harm him? I didn't know he was like... Somehow I thought he still had affection for Giles. He's still values their old friendship at least but i guess i was wrong it's kind of weird yeah i mean why not have chaos with giles why not that kind of makes sense but to want him dead i mean you could argue that well no he only wanted him dead when he was caught and he tried to fake that that was terrible <laughs> he tried to tell buffy that yeah that he giles had killed giles basically yeah it was kind of a surprise to me that but he must have wanted him dead before that because what does he expect to happen there with the uh, the initiative on the scene in the area and obviously Buffy looking for Giles looking for probably to kill this demon so he knew what was you know what it would have caused so he must have wanted Giles dead you know he would have been in well he was in, in grave danger wasn't he as a demon so yeah okay well that's kind of surprised me but yeah I'm glad they've taken him away now then hopefully that'll be the end of him if that's his goal to kill Giles yeah get rid of him good lock him up and throw away the key torture him a little bit while he's there as well <laughs> that's fine <laughs> i was a bit surprised they didn't show him changing giles back which i assumed he must have right i mean we didn't need to see it but it would have been kind of complicated to do that as well wouldn't it in terms of the visual effects but um yeah, it was easy i guess just to cut to a scene where he's back to his normal self yeah but they still had even there so i assume they forced him to change him back when buffy said giles because he's like zoom eyes so much i thought maybe once she stabbed him he'd changed like a little i could still see he was still the demon but i thought as soon as she stabbed him maybe i don't know if it at the time i thought it was real silver so i was thinking maybe it changed some of his facial features and he looked suddenly looked like giles and she realized but no it was the eyes that was really sweet it was sweet but 
she, she recognised him through the anger, right? So yeah, kind of sweet, but you know what I mean? It was sweet still. She meant that affectionately, I think. So I think Buffy and Giles were kind of feeling, particularly Giles, but then Buffy started to feel that way as well, feeling like, um, yeah, like they've been superseded, like um, they're old school and the new kids are on the block with their technology. But, you know, Riley found out that, you know, that works. The old school way works and Buffy's got this, you know. Yeah, and now he knows how strong she really is. He won't be asking her for another fight, will he? Even though he jokingly said he would be ready for her later. But yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> I think his uh, ego has been damaged enough. It's lucky that it is Riley, actually, that Buffy's fallen for and not one of the other soldier guys. I mean, she's fallen for him because he's like that. Like, I was going to say it's lucky because... The others, they're too macho and, you know, they're probably misog well, they're kind of misogynistic, I think. I think we've seen a little bit of that. The way they talk about women. Mattressable, one of them said, right? And yeah, that kind of thing. So, yeah, the fact that Riley's not like that would meant that he could take that beating like a man, really, right? And not complain about it and not... Um, although momentarily his ego would have been damaged, you know, his pride would have been damaged. Yeah, he can get over it, you know, and he has done. And yeah, he can take, he can accept accept Buffy for who she is, and not feel inferior to her just because she's stronger. I think that's good. That uh, yeah, he's like that, and she's found the right. She's definitely found the right one. She's picked the right guy out of all those soldier guys, definitely. Yeah, because uh, yeah, they they wouldn't last five seconds with her, would they? They wouldn't be able to handle that. Their egos just wouldn't be able to handle it. I think so. Yeah, that's good. Kind of a big cliffhanger with Miss Harris, the evil witch monster. Does she have that reputation because she tortures them in there? I don't know. I got the feeling because this is a government operation, right? So I've got this, as we learned in this episode, actually, I did think it was. I think I said that. I thought, well, I assumed it. I suppose it was a bit obvious, I suppose. But yeah, it's been confirmed now. So I wonder whether this room 314 is it. I wonder whether it's something that they should be doing or whether it's like Miss Harris. Wait, is it Miss Walsh? Hold on a minute. They were calling her Walsh, weren't they? Have I been getting this name wrong? Oh my God. I think they were calling her Miss Walsh, right? Why have I been calling her Miss Harris? Is there a Miss Harris? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of another show. Oh my god. Okay. The evil bitch monster. I think it's Miss Walsh, it turns out. If I make mistakes like that, do correct me because I'll keep doing it and then I'll look really stupid further down. Like, I'm not blaming anyone. It's my fault. I've obviously misheard the name or got it wrong somehow. Where am I getting Miss Harris from? I don't know. I'm sure I've been calling her Miss Harris. Initiative leader. Um, Evil bitch monster. There's so many names for her. I'll probably just call her the evil bitch monster from now on and make it easier. Yeah, so is this room authorised? Should she be doing what she's doing in this room? That's what I'm wondering now. I mean, she's called evil bitch monster, right? Does that name come from a reputation of her doing evil things to these demons? Because not all the demons are bad demons, are they? Some of them are good demons. I'm still not sure how. I, thought, I always thought demons were evil, but some of them are good. But even if they weren't good, if they are torturing them, that's pretty bad, isn't it? So... Yeah, is she, has she taken this upon herself? Is she, has she taken the initiative herself? Yeah, maybe. Maybe she's doing something she shouldn't be doing. Or maybe not. Maybe it is a government thing and the government are doing bad things. I mean, who'd have thought, right? <laughs> yeah, so that'll be interesting. I want to find out now. So we're going to find out, I guess. But Ethan knew. Ethan knew something was going I mean, he's kind of on friendly terms with demons, isn't he? He's into the black arts in a way. And he knew trick and yeah, so he would know, I guess. So somehow words got out from that facility as to what's going on. But he didn't tell Giles uh, specifically what's going on, right? He told him the name, the free, uh, 314, right? Yeah, he told him... He knows about that, obviously. So, yeah, he knows all about that. But what he, whether he knows, I guess he must do because, yeah, he, he's heard it from demons, I'm guessing, surely. So some demons have got out, I guess. Or how else would they know other than Spike? Spike's the only one that's escaped the, from what we've seen. Or are they re-releasing them? And what did they say? They said the results, he said, didn't he? Uh, uh, Riley said something about we're getting good results or something. Or was that... Miss Walsh. I don't know. One of them said about good result. I think it was Riley. Hmm. So rather than experimenting, they're actually doing something to them that's producing results or results at least that, you know, they're looking for. So maybe, maybe they're re... Yeah. He said, he said when he, they'll send Ethan to that um, detention center in the desert. And then he said, he'll, you can rest assured he'll be re rehabilitated, right? I thought that meant, I thought that was code for we'll torture him until he's, you know, doesn't do this shit anymore. 
but maybe they rehabilitate beings let's call them as well you know not just demons human beings into being better humans and people so maybe that's what he meant maybe he meant avert we'll do a version of on ethan as what we do on the demons so maybe they're changing these demons into something that you know harmless maybe i mean they've done that already with spike haven't they so that would make sense but i don't think it's just a case of maybe it's just a case of planting the chip in them maybe that's what he meant yeah it could be it could just be that but that doesn't explain the room 314 right Unless that's where they put the chips in, but if that's the case, it's not that bad, is it? But the way Ethan's talking about it, and and would a re would a re would a re I can't even speak. Would a re how come, why can't I say this? Would a re rehabilitated is that the right? Am I saying that right? Rehabilit rehabilitated. I'm saying rehabilitated. 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 Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's late. I'm tired. Could a rehabilitated demon then go to Ethan and tell him all that because if they're rehabilitated if they have changed them in some way they wouldn't have the kind of the will they wouldn't have the desire to go and tell Ethan about it so yeah okay well, that doesn't make sense then either so how's Ethan found out if Spike's the only one that's escaped and I don't think oh, they did mention Ethan in Spike's presence but I don't I think Charles did I don't think Spike well yeah he did because that's what they're looking for right I don't think Spike said oh we from that guy or anything so i don't even know if he knows him i mean we know trick does oh my god i'm going down such a complicated rabbit hole and it's probably all in my own head and nothing like it'll be nothing like this so i don't know why i do this to myself because these outros take so long to edit and I, it's, it's probably i'm t probably talking bullshit it's probably i'm probably going down the wrong road so let's leave it there yeah it, let me score it all right i think the episode was decent it was decent I think the best obviously part was Giles and Giles and Spike together. That was really good. I really liked that. That was the best part, I think. Um, but I'll give it a 7.75. Yeah, it was good enough for that, I think. I think, I think the humour and the situation and seeing Giles... And, oh, and also thinking for a second that Buffy had killed him. That was pretty dramatic. Yeah, so for those reasons, it was a, a good enough episode to give it a 7.75, I think. Not the best ever, but it was good and interesting and a big cliffhanger as well. In fact, maybe I should bump it up because there's a hell of a lot that happened, right? We learned more stuff. Yeah, so, but 7.75, that's what I'm going to score it. So, yep. Yep, so thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you'll come back and join me for episode number 13. For those on Patreon, that will be hopefully this month. It's coming towards the end of this month. We're going to have to get this up very, very quickly. We're going to have to do it for tomorrow night and get it up as quick as I can before the month's out. Um, yeah, for those on YouTube, it'll be next week or the week after, maybe. I don't know. There will be, for those on YouTube, there will be some months where i don't upload for one week just because um keeping a weekly schedule is hard for me because i'm very busy and yeah i don't do this full time so don't be alarmed if i mean it's happened before so don't be alarmed if even if every month i only put up three if there's a month if there's a week in the month that i haven't uploaded one don't worry there will be another i'm not going to finish it or anything i'm going to finish the show so don't worry about that i'll definitely finish the show so there'll always be uploads to YouTube. So if a week, even two weeks goes past, don't think, oh, he's done with it because it's not the case at all. Yeah, um, I just don't have the time I need to do like four edits a month on most months. So, but sometimes it will be four. So yeah, um, hopefully you'll come back and join me for that episode, episode 13. See you then. See ya. Bye.